So, the typical ship hull type or configuration on space engineers is that of a blended hull, which means that the hull or most of the ship is packed within that main husk of the hull. There is nothing wrong with this, whether or not it's good depends on many situational factors. But if you know my ships, you know that they are not built like that. But instead, most of my ships are in a hull and superstructure configuration. This is the kind of ship hull design where on top of the main hull, there's a secondary prominent superstructure housing other things. And there are some situational benefits that come with this design. One of them, and perhaps the most important, is modularity. It's easier to make your ship's internals modular while still maintaining a robust and secure conveyor connection if they are contained within an uninterrupted structure or housing. The second most important benefit is cost and weight saving. In a blended hull design, you often have excess armor within the diagonals or corners of the ship, which can be great for certain ship types and fighting styles. But for ships that are meant to be fast-moving dodgers that rely on speed and firepower, or just ships that are designed to be cost-effective in general, you most likely don't need those excess armor on the corners, which can also make your turret's lines of sight worse in some cases. And finally, the third benefit is the combined benefits of having a clear separation of things within your ship. If your bridge, hangar, living quarters, storage, engineering are all blended in the hull, there are many complications that can happen, especially in combat situations. And again, these are situational, like most things on space engineers. But yeah, those are the benefits that come with hull and superstructure ship design configuration depending on the situations on space engineers.